right, so the last time you guys saw this was all rusty and crappy, but it is now all painted up and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Wheels are on it. And they just, oh, they look so good. Everything just looks amazing and I'm so happy with the way everything turned out. Um, so now it's gonna be on to getting the motor tranny and all that stuff in and hooked up and I gotta wait for the shocks and the, the pedals and the brakes and all that stuff. But other than that, this thing is just about ready to get going. So just look at the size difference between like a regular truck and my little Beetle. Like that thing, this thing looks like a go-kart compared to the truck. But um, this thing's gonna look super cool when it's done. I mean, I'm, I'm really hoping it turns out the way I want it to. Those of you who are wondering how much I've actually spent on this car, too much. I have spent too much on this car. <laughs> um, give you a straight answer, probably about six grand. I'm six grand into this car with buying it and other parts so far. I'm probably gonna be when I'm done, probably about eight. Cars were, eh, give or take 10. Give or take. More like take, because I built it. But I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna drive it for a while. So hopefully it'll be worth something when I'm done with it. So today we're gonna move the body because it is in the weeds and it's getting pretty bad. The weeds are, you can see they're over going inside the, uh, the car. So we are going to move this with the tractor real quick onto the stones so I can start stripping when I need to and fix the hinges and get the interior all fixed up. How we're moving this is we're just balancing it on a strap and I'm just kind of balancing it. Make sure it doesn't fall or hurt it. All right, forward. Making my way downtown, something, something. My wheel doesn't work. This is our Bradley GT2. I am currently in it. And there's nothing else in it except for these wires and maybe this steering column. But other than that, as you can see, this is pretty rough. So we are going to strip everything out of it. Actually smells really bad in here too. I don't know why I'm still sitting in here to be honest with you. So after the weekend with the caster cart and all that stuff, we're back to working on the car. I fixed some welds here and made them a little bit better. And now I'm fixing the linkage pieces and the clutch and all that stuff. And then we got to add some pedals and a motor and a starter and brakes and then a body and then i'm gonna throw a lot of money at uh, either a wrap or a paint job yay this thing is getting so close we just put in the motor yesterday thanks to my buddy dakota helped me out with that and he helped me hit the transmission back in and my other friend did as well so thank you and i'm super excited today we are testing if everything works I mean, like, with the tranny and motor and all that stuff. And then it's going to be brakes. And then we're going to put on the body. And then it's going to be electrical. And then we're going to do the body and fix all the doors and windows and the interior or whatever else we need to do. And then this thing is going to be drivable. And I am so excited. I've had this thing for four months and I have never driven this. I have just, I want to drive it in the worst way. And this is the first vehicle I think I might not actually beat on. I don't know. We're going to see. Maybe I will. <laughs> I'm probably going to. Now, before we test fire it, I got to get the exhaust on. And I'm going to get the drive shaft on to see if um, the transmission's all good as well. And this is going to be our brakes. Make sure these are all tightened up so they work. And we don't really have any brakes. As you can see, there's lines all over. But we need to see if it'll move and go before we start putting more money into it. I gotta focus more on getting it running and driving. So, engine's new. That'll run. I'm not worried about that. But I'm worried about the starter and the, the clutch assembly piece. So I'm gonna get the starter, get that in, get uh, get the exhaust on, the drive shafts, and then the pedals in as well. And then we'll see if this thing will fire. together and running but what happened was we tried fitting um 
early models with late model um, clutch pieces, which I'm missing where that piece went. There it is. We basically mushroomed that off, which we didn't really know because we've never really dealt with bugs before, but they changed up their um, clutch plate. That's the old one, which I'm going to clean up and put in. Because the frame is uh, on hold a little bit because I'm missing some clutch pieces, we're going to work on the body today. I'm going to try and get the doors off, the glass out. We're only taking out the back glass. I'm going to leave in these two little side ones and then the big one, uh, the front one. So then uh, I don't have to take out a ton. I'm just going to tape it all off and paint the inside. The outside is going to get wrapped, so I don't have to worry about it. But I got to figure out hinges and stuff too because I haven't. I have no hinges anywhere. Which sucks. So I figure that out. I gotta get this bumper cleaned up. The doors gotta get fixed. Not really fixed. I just I need a top window for there. I gotta get another window for that side because they uh, this one cracked and that one's just gone. So let's figure it out. I gotta clean up in here. I'm gonna paint it instead of having all this crappy white stuff everywhere. I'm gonna use the rest of the paint that I have and paint up in here and take out all this. I'm going to keep it, but I'm going to take it out because it's just, I don't have the money to get everything reupholstered. And the black, I think, will look just fine with the black seats I've ordered. Doors are off. Now i got to tear out the rest of the interior. I tore out the top piece already because I had to get to the, the bolts up in there. Oh, pardon me. But I have to get out the rest of the interior. And then i got to sandblast all this old glue off there so it's a nice, clean finish when I paint this inside. Now that I have the car pretty much completely stripped out, I mean, I gotta clean off some of that uh, uh, foam and stuff, but I am going to sandblast all this away. This is just, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm gonna sandblast this all. I'll cover up the steering wheel and the windows and everything like that, but I'll sandblast all this, make it look pretty for paint. And then I won't destroy anything, like any mounts or anything like that, in case somebody wants to put the interior back in. But I surely will not be doing that. These are all the other parts that are just kind of laying around for it. The back, bumpers, doors, and of course the body. We're going to pick the body up so I can sandblast that inside. We're going to put it over there in the grass. So I can sandblast everything and get it all nice and cleaned up. So last night I sandblasted the car a little bit. Um, it got dark before I could finish it up, but it doesn't take off that foam real well. So I'll have to get that foam off with something different. Well, it's dark again and it's too dark to do anything else with this, but I did get all that crap off the car. You can't see on that side, but I did get all that glue off. So tomorrow we're gonna put the primer inside of the car. All right, I taped everything off that I did not want primed or painted. I gotta, I gotta cut off all the outside here still. But then we are going to start painting the inside of this thing. And we're just gonna paint it a primer to start and then we'll paint it black and then hopefully it turns out well. I do have to get this bolt out of here too still. Um, I stripped it when I was taking it off. So I gotta get the grinder and get that out of there. I don't know about the grinder, but. We are getting there. It's taking me a little bit of time because there's so many weird angles and places I gotta reach. But I am doing the ceiling as well because I, again, I don't really wanna pay for interior. So, just gonna paint it black in here, make it all look pretty. And if someone wants to do interior, I kept all the interior pieces. So, I just painted the two top corners and over here and most of the roof. I still gotta get there, obviously. But, so far, it's looking pretty good. I like it. All right, the body is painted with primer. I have to finish painting this. I'm doing that right now. I'm letting my gun clean out real quick. And then I'm putting the motor back in today because I got the parts. Yeah, I'm so excited. All right, so my pieces for the motor, or well, the clutch pieces came in. I'm so excited. So the motor will be back in today too. All right, so everything is back together and now my clutch piece actually works. The exhaust is on. I am currently trying to figure out these pieces and I gotta switch some bolts around because I'm putting bolts in the wrong spot. I put copper ones on the motor, which is not what you're supposed to do. They're supposed to go back here. So I gotta get more bolts. Oh, 
what the hell? <laughs> you got real lucky there. No. Hey everybody, it's kind of dark out. Um, it's kind of late too. I'm supposed to be somewhere, but I'm excited because I got this to drive. Right now we're making a kind of a half-ass steering wheel because we can't steer at all. As you saw just a minute ago, my dad almost hit the trampoline. So, we're making a steering wheel for it real quick. Oh, Jesus, they're going down the road. Now that I'm done having a mini heart attack because we took this thing down the road, and um, yeah, this thing we took this down the road. You know how scary this is? Hold on with one hand, some scary, shit, man. Oh, she runs and drives, boys. <laughs> oh, that was definitely scary, you know, doing 40 down the road. Don't worry, this thing is definitely insured and registered already, but um. It's still very, very scary. All right, sorry to leave you guys here, but this is the end of this video. I am pushing these videos, they're kind of longer. So I do apologize, but this one was a lot more fun because we got to drive this thing. I'm so happy. I have never driven a 70s Beetle, but we drove it and it was a lot of fun. And I still got to get many pieces here and there. Like I'm missing some clamps on the exhaust, like uh, right here. Uh, you can't even see that, not that I care. I'm super excited that I got to drive this thing. I'm so excited! Like, the fuel is still a little dirty, but it's going really good. If it's driving good, I can start it and drive it around now on its own power, and I'm not trying to wheel it out everywhere. Um, we definitely need a front alignment, though. That was really sketchy. <laughs> so, as you can see, we just have a board and a, a top to the five-gallon pails on there. We took it down the road doing about 40 miles an hour, I'm gonna guess. Um, it was really sketchy because I was holding a camera and trying to hold on for dear life. So it was, it was sketchy, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This one was a lot more fun now that we're actually getting progress with the car. And, uh, yeah, you're going to be seeing the body on this thing in the next video. You're going to be seeing this thing drive in the next video. It's not going to be completely done, but it will be going down the road in the next video. So stay tuned, like, subscribe. Hey, your e-brakes on, buddy. Your e-brakes on. <laughs>